Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial video. Today we will learn how to create an interactive image processing in a Jupyter notebook. This is the final result. Here I am using a Gaussian filter in the frequency domain to blur or sharpen my input image. As you can see here, I have a slider widget here. By sliding this to right or left, this will change the parameter G0 which is the filter parameter in a Gaussian filter. This helps us see the filter result with a different parameter. And this check box here means that I'm using a Gaussian low pass filter and when I uncheck this box, this will apply a Gaussian high pass filter to our inputs which is making the image look sharper. Okay, let us now create this interactive Gaussian filter. First of all, we import some libraries. I'm using NumPy, OpenCP, and Matplotlib. And for creating an interactive widget, we need to import the IPyWidget widget library and import two functions which is the interact and fix. This is the basic library when you install the Python using the Anaconda. Next, let us import the input image. I import the input image using OpenCV and I import it as a grayscale image. Let us preview the import image. Okay, good. Now I will create the Gaussian image filter. This Gaussian filter function here takes two input variables. The first input variable is the input image and the second input variable is the parameter D0. I already made a video about Gaussian filters. The code here is the same with the code in that video. So I will not explain about the Gaussian filter. You can watch this video if you need a further explanation. The Gaussian filter here is a low pass filter. So this will blur the input image. Let us run this cell to create the Gaussian filter function. Let us now run this cell to blur the input image and set the parameter D0 equal to 10. The blur image here is the result of applying the Gaussian low pass filter with parameter D0 equal to 10. And if we want to see the result with a different parameter D0, we need to change the second input variable. Let's say we use 1 now and see the result. Okay, so this is the result of Gaussian low pass filter using the parameter D0 equal to 1. The cool thing about Jupyter Notebook, we can add a slider for variable D0 and then we can use that slider to change the value of variable D0 and display the blur image. The code here is very simple, we use the interact function from IPyY widgets. To use that, we just need to type interact and for the input here, put the Gaussian filter function and the two variable here is the input variable for our Gaussian filter function. As you see here, the first input is image app and the second input is parameter D0. For the first input image app, here I set a fixed value because we will not change the input image. And for the second input variable here, D0, I set a value from 1 to 100 with a step equal to 1. Let's be try to run this cell. Alright, as you can see here, now we have a slider. When we slide this uh, slider, this will change the parameter D0 as well as also will display the uh, Gaussian low pass filter with a different parameter D0. Let's we try move this to left. So this is will generate a filter image with a parameter D0 equal to 1. And when I move this to right, maximum 100, this will filter the image using the Gaussian low pass filter with parameter D0 equal to 100. Alright, we are successfully creating an interactive image processing in a Jupyter Notebook. Now I will add the Gaussian high pass filter into our function and we can add a checkbox so we can choose between the low pass filter and the high pass filter. I add another input into our Gaussian function. The variable low pass here is a boolean value. And inside the function, I add an if control statement. When the low pass is equal to true, the function will perform a Gaussian low pass filter. And when the low pass is equal to false, the function will perform a Gaussian high pass filter. Let's we run this cell to recreate the Gaussian filter function. And now let us try the, this new Gaussian filter function with a low pass equal to true. This should result in a blur image. Okay, this is the result of blur image and now let's we change the low pass function false. This will apply a Gaussian high pass filter into our input image. Alright, as you can see here, this is the Gaussian filter, the high pass Gaussian filter and this is the result image when we apply a Gaussian high pass filter. Now let us use this interact function from the IPyY widget. Put our Gaussian filter function as the first variable. Then the second variable is the image f. The third variable here is the parameter d0. And for the last parameter, we put the low pass parameter and set the first value as true. Let's rerun this cell. 
As you can see here, we have a slider for variable D0, which is the same as the previous one. And now we have a checkbox. So this interact function will create a checkbox if the variable here is a Boolean value. When I check this box, I apply a Gaussian low-pass filter into input image. And when I uncheck this box, this will apply a Gaussian high-pass filter into our input image. Okay, so that's all from this video. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. I hope you learned something useful from this video. And if you want to download this Jupyter Notebook file, the download link is available in the description. You can download it for free and see you in the next tutorial video.